Crystal. All right, we're back at it again uh, today. San Luis Reservoir, cause the ocean is a little too windy. It's only a high of three miles per hour, so it should be a good day. There's a, well, kind of out of focus. There's a few boats, but other than that, it's not bad. It looks kind of, yeah, but striper. Woohoo! I actually kind of like it, cause uh. The water is low enough to the point where the boat people can have their own launch ramp. And I can have my own launch ramp. <laughs> Not bad. Sun's coming up and getting a little warmer. Hey, time to get in the water. Try to do some fishing. I would love to go to the ocean, but Condition. It's not the greatest. Ski on the pole pad. Just look around. But yeah, it's a little, a little windy at the ocean. It's about nine to ten miles per hour all day, and not the ocean. It usually picks up a little harder later on near the afternoon. So here it's only about three miles per hour. So I'm just gonna do some fresh water this week. Um, Hopefully next week get some better conditions and I can actually do the ocean and get some crabs for Christmas or something. But um, striper sounds good today. And then tomorrow I'm going to go mountain biking at, what is it, uh, Bakersfield, Hart, Hart Park. Like a whole bunch of mountain bike trails. So we'll do that too. Uh, all right, let's get in the water. Here, for some reason, my favorite colors are white and either like an orange or chartreuse, but mainly more orange. But the white does great here. So, I'm going with the wind, and the wind is blowing maybe a mile, two miles per hour, and all I'm feeling like just the sun. Feels great. Oh shit. Oh, I missed it. Too busy paying attention. I'm not getting the fish. One on. The white one on the surface. <laughs> on the surface bike. Out in the middle. I like the open though. Woo! The open always produces fish. I just barely got out here. I haven't even make a loop or lap or anything yet. <laughs> I've not been to my uh, my striper spot yet. My striper spot still a little bit more up ahead. But hey, a fish is a fish, right? A fight's a fight. On the surface, though. You don't even need a downrigger. Like here is weird because I, I always caught all my fish on the surface. I don't ever really need a downrigger. But on the basalt side, I do need a downrigger. I usually drop like 20 to 40 feet and sometimes I do like 60 feet. But on this side, dinosaur point, it's all surface. All surface action. still there it's not fighting much I'm getting closer though you can see my leader line nope that's still my braided 10 pound I like fishing on a 10 pound test so it's all 10 pound all right now I'm on my leader you hear the leader line I don't feel that big anymore. Now it's fighting. Oh, okay. It's fighting. It's fighting. Let's see how big you are. Oh, that might be a keeper. 
Uh, that's, that's a keeper. It's not bad. If I could put it underneath. So I reeled too much line in. <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad for barely being on the water. How big you are? Kind of small. 20 and a half inches. That's a keeper. Surface action. One fish. All right. That's a good one. Sweet. Always works, always works. I'm telling you, white lures and the orange. Well, this is just a plain white, more like a ghost, ghost color, like a championship white, like a Honda Civic Type R or Integra Type R white color. Let it go, sit the swims, swims good, and then let it go back. Maybe about a hundred feet or more. And let us do his action. Right. I got one on the surface on the orange. It's very small though, because uh, it's not really fighting much at all. So that were because the rod is too stiff. <laughs> the stiff rod. I've been fighting. It's just like dead weight. At least there's fish on this side though. Okay, now it's starting to fight a little bit. It's starting to wiggle. Ten pound test. You gotta let it play so my drag is a little loud but i'd rather not lose the lure and the fish oh no oh did it came off no right at the end seriously oh what the hell what the hell <laughs> lucky fish This one's fighting good. I got the weaker rod on. Because I was losing fish with that harder rod. It's too stiff. So when they move like that, it rips right out of their mouth. So the lighter rod are doing a better job of hooking up. Because I lost two or three fish on the stiff rod. And uh, I would have been in the cove a lot earlier but I should have stuck to my uh, ultra light rods I like my ultra light rods they, they just tend to work better and plus it's ugly stick so they don't break anyway so well, that's an ugly stick too but these are just much nicer much lighter still 10 pound test but man I think I think it fought pretty good It looks like 19. Whoa! It's a fighter though. Are you ready to come up? This guy got a lot of fight though. It's still running. It's in front of the kayak. Ooh, 
I'm just a fighter. <laughs> oh, that dude fought hard. Holy shit. Hard fighter. On the orange. Oh, yeah. Let me reel in this one. Woo! Big good on the orange. He even just swam in front of the kayak. <laughs> good fighter. It's a lot, it's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit thicker too. Thicker than the other one. Today it's kind of weird because like they're closer, but not close to the shore, but they're not way, way in the deep either because I went way into the deep and I didn't see much in the deep. But yeah, that's a keeper for sure. and three quarters a little bit bigger no, not super big just good, good eating size Whew. good striper gonna bleed him out though starting to pick up a little bit and it's a little faster than three miles per hour I'd say seven eight maybe too much it's too much wind to be out there even at seven eight miles per hour because if the switch and blows out over my comfort zone is no more than 10 miles per hour 10 miles per hour I don't even want to go out because we get pushed out it's a long way back in so 10 Max, but uh, head back to the car and uh, pack up, go home, and get the mountain bike ready for tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, Cousin Stripers, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm more excited about tomorrow mountain biking on a new trail. So, should be fun. Thanks for watching.